Hi, I'm Kaylee Bender on behalf of ResinObsession.com and I'm going to show you how to drip silicone on resin to get cells. First, here's a list of the supplies that I used. And I used Mastercast 121 resin. And here are the colors that I used. You can use whatever colors you want, of course. And then here's a picture of some of my supplies. And now I am starting with my resin already mixed. Um, make sure you follow the instructions on the Mastercast bottle. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. And make sure you mix it very well. And once I was done mixing it, I poured it into four different cups, as you can see. And then you just want to add a couple drops of your acrylic ink or paint into your resin. You don't want to add much. The same goes for Perlex. A little goes a long way. So just make sure you mix that in well. I'm just adjusting my colors a little bit. And it is important that you use some contrasting colors like white and then black or dark blue because it helps show the effect better in the, in the end. So I just dumped out my dark blue resin and torched it because it gets rid of bubbles and makes it more fluid and easier to spread around the canvas. And you want to layer the colors for this technique. There's some white, silver, purple, light blue, and then the last of the white. You can see I'm just dumping it out. There's no real like overall look that I was going for, just wanting to layer the colors. So I'm torching it again to get rid of bubbles and make it more fluid. And you just want to tilt it around and cover your whole canvas or board or whatever you're using to paint on. I'm just touching up the edges, obviously. Get a little extra. <laughs> You just want to tilt it around until you're happy with the way it looks. And just make sure you don't torch too much because you can burn it. And this is why you should wear a respirator is from the torching. Tip it just a little more. It didn't really do much, but. <laughs> Make sure it's level. And then you're going to get your dimethicone, which is just silicone. You can order it on Amazon. And then get a toothbrush. And you're going to put some silicone on the bristles of the toothbrush and then flick it over the surface like that. And you immediately get those cells forming. And you want to do this pretty quickly after you've poured your resin because if it started to cure the silicone won't really do much so that is it I'm gonna show you a close-up you can see it creates lots of cells I'm pretty happy with it. And I appreciate y'all watching. And here's where you can check me out online. And I look forward to making more videos for Resin Obsession. Thanks. Bye.